Hey there, pottery enthusiasts and history buffs. Welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, remember to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you never miss an update from us. Now, let's jump into the fascinating history of pottery. We promise this journey will keep you captivated, so let's dive in. Imagine this. Millions of years ago, when nomadic humans started settling down, they made one of the most transformative discoveries. Fire. And with fire came the birth of pottery. The earliest pottery was probably what we call pinch pots, made from balls of clay that our ancestors hollowed out with their fingers or thumbs. Quite a simple and ingenious process, don't you think? And it wasn't long before they started making coil pots. These pots were created by forming long coils of clay and blending them together. However, these pots were fired at low temperatures, making them fragile and porous. So, to combat this, our ancient potters would burnish the surfaces of their pots with rocks or hardwood before firing them, which gave these pots their characteristic blackened look. And check this out. The decorations you see were often the result of incisions or insertions of tools into the soft clay. These early pots weren't just practical. They also represented the fertility gods of those ancient cultures. Fast forward to 5000 BC, and we find civilizations like those in ancient Egypt and the Middle East. These folks were making full use of clay, not just for pottery, but for building materials too. By 4000 BC, the ancient Egyptians had upped their game. They started using finer clays and fired the pieces at much higher temperatures in early kilns. These kilns were cleverly designed to keep the pots away from direct fire, preventing them from blackening. The story is similar in ancient China. By 3500 BCE, they were making black pottery with round bases and plated decorations. But by 1000 BCE, they had mastered the potter's wheel and developed sophisticated glazes. Their pottery was so significant, it even played a role in funeral ceremonies. As we move along the timeline, we find the Greeks started throwing pots on wheels, creating exquisite forms. The ancient Romans, pre-Columbians, Iberians, and the Japanese were also making beautiful pottery for both domestic and religious use. Until the mid-18th century, European potters mostly sold their creations in small quantities at markets or through merchants. To sell more, they simply made more and took it to the market. But change was in the air. The British production potters started experimenting, creating new types of pottery bodies, perfecting glazes, and they shifted their sales tactics. Instead of just selling ready-made pieces, they began taking orders for products to be made in factories. This new approach quickly gained momentum, and by the later 18th century, many other potters started to experiment. They started using molds to mass-produce consistent pieces, assuring consumers of what they would receive. And so, we arrive at the rich and diverse world of pottery we know today, a craft steeped in millions of years of innovation, tradition, and creative spirit from the humble pinch pots of our ancestors to the modern ceramic masterpieces. The journey of pottery is a fascinating saga of human ingenuity. And that's a wrap on today's episode, folks. If you enjoyed this journey through the history of pottery, give us a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated on our next deep dives into history. Until next time, keep exploring and stay curious.